How many of you in this place, you, you dream regularly, you see people pursuing you? You see some, yeah? So what's your experience? And for how long have you been having? If you know that spirits are looking for you, you will not be careless with your life. If you begin to live in immorality, immoral spirits will begin to dominate you and they will create an opening for other more wicked spirits to be able to access your life, even though you still have the ability to speak in tongues. Satan is looking for an occasion, an opportunity to step into the control area of your life and to master it. And that's why all spiritual men look alike. They are always righteously strict with themselves so that they don't give Satan any occasion. They are mercifully kind towards others, allowing the bowels of Christ to flow through their lives to their dying world. And they are secretly pure towards God. Hallelujah. Now let me give you an insight. When you find some things reoccurring, a particular thing reoccurring in your dream, I've, I've I've taught you some of those things before. It's reoccurring. It means the spirit is involved. Do you still remember the dream? You see, when something happens three times, maybe in the dream, in your dream life, happens once, happens two times, happens three times and above. It is spiritual. It is something that you should awake about. And uh, if what you are seeing is negative, I suggest you roll up your sleeves and get ready for contention. Now, I will need you to be very frank now at this level. This is a solemn moment. So we need to be very frank. How many of you in this place, you, you dream regularly, you see people pursuing you? You see some, yeah? All right, so come. Just stay with me, stay with me, okay? So what's your experience? And for how long have you been having? Okay. Um, it's usually after maybe a major conference or a major um, spiritual activity, I see um, guys pursuing me, trying to collect my phone. It's very constant. There's always a contention um, over my phone and the dream. So I, she has studied the science of those pictures. And the science is that after there's a mighty conference or a spiritual escapade, she sees herself. People are trying to dispossess her of a valuable. Are you with me? All right. When last did you have that experience? Um, it's been a while now. The last time, um, one of the guys actually collected my phone. But then I held him, my jacket's clothes, like, you can't take my phone. So we contended, and I was very afraid in the dream, but I held him until he gave me back my phone. And that was the last time. I will want to thank God that you got back your valuable. Because in the world of men, I know how I saw someone whose phone was snatched one night. I, the person was literally mourning. It was a very terrible experience. So even in the world of men, to lose your phone is not a very good experience. Uh, now, how many people in our midst here, you've had any... Now, all these people I'm asking to come out for interview. I'm going to pray for you. That's why I'm calling you out. Right? I used to know a footballer in one of our teams in Nigeria here. And he came to see me. And what was his experience? He said anytime he's going for a very big match, he sees a woman. If he sleeps, maybe for um, a few minutes, just doze off. He will see a woman sleeping with him. The moment that happens, if you put him on the pitch, he's a useless footballer. And the day the woman doesn't encounter him, he's the hope of the team. So if he has a big match, he will, he will take what they call cola nut and all those things so that he will not sleep. 
Because if he falls asleep, he knows that the woman will show. Are you there? So when he came to see me, then we were not yet in this facility. We were in the previous facility. And I shook him. And I prayed in tongues for a moment. I said, ah! I didn't want to. I spoke to him in parables. I didn't want to tell him directly because he would not believe. I said, uh, the person that is responsible for this thing is close to you. I couldn't tell him it was his wife. The person that is responsible for this thing is close to you. And if we pray, the person may not survive. He said, Pastor, pray. I'll be so afraid. I'll be so So we now pray. And ask the Lord to release his judgment. And the reason why I prayed that prayer was because the Lord gave me the sign that it was time for judgment. So I asked the Lord, Church, in two weeks, the man's wife died. The man came back. So it was my wife. I said, how will I tell you? And from that day, he never had that experience again. What was the problem? The wife was asking him to stop playing football and to come back. He said he would play. So the wife now, okay, you know all the stories. Wanted to frustrate him out of the game supernaturally because she comes from a background of fetish people or spiritual people the average believer is careless about his life doesn't take his life seriously is there anyone here you have the same kind of experience with the footballer you see that a woman comes to sleep with you or a man comes to sleep with you we are going to pray for you now, all these things I just did now, these interviews that I conducted, is to show you that unknown to us, we are being in constant interaction with spirits trying to master us and to influence our possibilities. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. It's not only the, the devil that, inf that... How many of you have seen yourself in a dream you saw yourself harvesting fruit plenty of fruit have you seen that before you're actually close to a breakthrough you are close to a harvest and if you are wise you are going to look for the implement for harvest because the implement you use to cultivate is not the same implement you are going to use for harvest the life of a human being is more often than not manipulated by spirits But we want to be diligent to submit ourselves to the Holy Ghost so that it will be Him that will be responsible for our manipulation. And that His jealousy will arise in a situation where something else wants to manipulate us. Let His jealousy arise from our vessel and contend. He will contend on your behalf that way if it is true that you are absolutely submitted to serve His will. He becomes jealous about you. So he will contend men that want to contend with you. He will contend spirits that want to contend with you. The contention never ends. But become a friend of the Holy Spirit. I remember that, that young guy, smart guy. He, he graduated with a first class degree and went for youth service. Passing out parade. Was on his way back and he died in Lokoja. The accident was not so gassy. He was the only man that died. Before that day, he used to tell his friends the dreams he had, that he sees coffins appearing to him. And he did nothing about it. Until he became the prophet of his own doom. Oh, there was this man that for one month, almost consistently, he sees a dog coming to bite him on his, his right hand here did nothing about it until that thing now happened physically he, he was going somewhere the dog now came and beat him the same place he saw that the dog was that was a wound that it never never that wound never healed he never healed until the man died if you know that spirits are looking for you you will not be careless with your life if you begin to live in immorality 
immoral spirits will begin to dominate you and they will create an opening for other more wicked spirits to be able to access your life even though you still have the ability to speak in tongues satan is looking for an occasion an opportunity to step into the control area of your life and to master it and that's why all spiritual men look alike they are always righteously strict with themselves so that they don't give satan any occasion they are mercifully kind towards others allowing the bowels of christ to flow through their lives to their dying world and they are secretly pure towards god i'm just showing this is another aspect how many of you see yourself when you were in the university you see yourself in secondary school you are almost always taken into the past and it, it reoccurs again and again yeah ah freeman freeman come let's let's hear your story let's hear your story let's hear your story freeman now the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing is just to make you understand that you've been interacting with spirits but you don't know how many of you okay yeah freeman let's hear from you and then we'll take another example because i want us to pray okay the first instance uh, i remember i was still in the university at the time and i saw myself in my second school uniform mm -hmm. walking to the premises the last instance was just after the women conference after the women you still saw that yeah but this time i was my primary school your primary school my second school okay I can tell you reliably as a researcher of spiritual things whenever you begin to see such things it is very likely that the spirit of reproach seeks to regulate your life very likely very likely um, I don't have time yet uh, this evening to show you how that your reality just like I'm preaching now and the anointing comes upon me I can see a vision and I describe a vision and you will see that that vision was accurate you see me minister like that before right so spirits can bring pictures if I take you to the book of Revelation you'll find what we call the entire book of revelation was brought to john by an angel spirits can bring you pictures in your subconscious spirits can trigger imaginations spirits can power thoughts so you must have read in the bible when the bible says that there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the Almighty gave them understanding. It means spirits can bring inspiration. You were not thinking about it, you were inspired by a spirit. It means that the spirit used the infrastructure of your thought life to transmit a thought, and the thought was so powerful that it was sustained. You did not you couldn't forget it easily, it was sustained on your heart. And the Bible called that the inspiration of the Holy Ghost on your own human spirit it's just like when you have a candle and you light that candle such that the candle now has light that's what happens with inspiration you have a spirit and then the holy ghost now inspires your spirit all of those activities are possible when a spirit is at work so if you are a student of the spirit you will find out that when you begin to dream consistently and it was not are you with me now listen it is possible for you to have gone to um, Makati Stadium and you watched a match and you came back and then you started dreaming of a match. That's possible. That's recoil. That one happens because of the capacity of your soul. Once and again it happens. But I'm talking about something that you never thought about before you, you slept. Are you there? You never imagined it. There was nothing that created that scenario in your mind. And it begins to play out one time 
two times, three times, four times, and you can even make a science out of it to know that it normally happens after there is heightened spiritual activity. Is there anyone in this congregation? You were sick. You went to the hospital, doctors ran tests, said nothing was wrong with you, but you were still sick. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to uh, show you that you've been dealing with spirits since you were a child, since you were in the womb. That's what I'm, I'm trying to establish here. Yes, so sister, what, what's your story? Give her the microphone. Let her find the much needed liberty to respond adequately. I was having stomach pain and rashes all over my body. She was having stomach pain and rashes. I went for scanning. Went for scanning. They said there's nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with you? My pastor there was a pharmacist. The pastor was a pharmacist. He thought I was a HIV patient. He, he, he used his wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> and he felt the symptoms were pointing to a blood situation. <laughs> yes, so what happened? I wrote the test for me, I should go to the lab. Go to the laboratory. I went and did the test. I returned the results to me. When he saw this, he said that what he was taking was not so that everything is negative. Everything is negative. So they, he, you know, it took a lot of learning for him to come to that assertion that this can also be the manifestation of human immune virus. He wrote the test in a strange way that she would not understand what was written there. But the sick came out negative, and the sickness for which he went to the hospital was still very active. The thing was worse than the kitchen. Hey, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm, oh, I, oh my, you are missing it. You are missing it. The reason why I'm doing these interviews is to make you understand that you have been interacting with spirits for since you were in the womb. So, this kind of education, we are not just trying to talk about the Holy Ghost. First of all, let us start with you, 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 and spirit, the spirit world. First, then we'll narrow it down. And if we have time, I think we'll have time tomorrow. We don't have time today, but tomorrow I will now. Ah, we can't do it. The reason is because you need a, a, a first course first to be able to understand that one. You need some fundamental knowledge. If we bring that one, no, 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 it will to cause problem. Yes. Someone was okay. Pastor, come, come out of that place. Sir. Where's the mic again? Come out. Don't worry. Don't use that one. Just this is the only approved mic for use for now. So what happened to you? Yes, I was having a stomach ache. Stomach ache. Much younger, and um, I went to the hospital, and they said it was the appendicitis or something. Appendicitis. So I was operated on. Predator. But after some time, like about a year after, like um, close to twelve months. The same pain came, and if you know appendicitis, and if you know that place they operate on, it cannot be restored. So if he's having the same pain, it means the first operation was wrong. Are you there? I'm just trying to show you huh, that something beyond the gaze of the doctor can be responsible for an ailment, and even the best of doctors will be thrown into confusion when the expectations that they sustained for which the recommended laboratory procedures come out negative. Are you with me? You are not with me. All right. How many of you? Okay, thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. That stomach pain will not come back again. Well, restore our microphone. Don't take it away. Restore. Thank you for watching this message all the way to the end. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel so that you can stay up to speed on power-packed messages from the Spirit of God. Liking and subscribing to this channel will also help this message spread to more people and which will increase the chances of breaking strongholds in the life of a lot of people all around the world. So you see why it is very important to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification. God bless you. Watch the videos displayed on your screen right now because they will greatly impact your life positively. God bless you.